Hello students. In this problem, we're going to calculate the volume under this surface, x squared plus y squared, which is this parabolic surface here that you see here. And it's over this region, which is an annulus that has a radius greater than 1 and less than 2. This is r squared is less than 4, so that means that r is less than 2. Um, so to describe this region here, we have a radius between uh, 1 and 2. And uh, we're going to calculate the volume of um, this uh, um, underneath this surface and over this region. So this solid um, that you see here. Okay. Um, so to calculate that volume, we have x squared plus y squared. And um, we're now going to... Um, as I said, calculate that volume. So what we're going to do is convert to polar coordinates. And uh, remember that uh, for polar coordinates, we have this conversion, we have this transformation, r cosine theta for x and r sine theta for y. And recall that the Jacobian of this transformation is r. So we have r squared plus y squared, uh, I'm sorry, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And uh, the little area element is... Uh, gets transformed to d, um, from dr d theta, and we multiply by this by the Jacobian, which is r. So this volume gets converted to, this volume integral gets converted to this volume integral. And um, as I said earlier, r is between 1 and 2. And since we're going around in a circle, theta is between 2 pi and 0. So now we have everything we need to compute this volume. So we convert x squared plus y squared to r squared, as we did here. The r dr d theta comes from the Jacobian times the dr d theta, which is our area element. And we now just have to impose our limits of integration, which will mean r is between 1 and 2, and theta is between 0 and 2 pi. I multiply r squared by r, and I get r cubed. So now I have uh, just this double integral to compute. And this here, what you see here, is a rectangle in um, polar coordinates. So um, we could use uh, a Fubini's theorem if we wanted, but um, I'm just going to straight away um, compute this integral here. So that's uh, r to the fourth divided by 4, where between r is between 1 and 2. And uh, we get this computation. And then I'm just going to, once I reduce that, um, I'm just going to compute this integral, which means we just get a theta. So I have a 2 pi minus 0 once I input those values. And uh, we end up with, um, because the 2 and the 4 cancel, we end up with 15 over 2 pi. And that's it. All right, good luck.